Hi guys, got a message in from a fellow Manitoban. Um, I'll just read his question out to you. What is your recommendation on mix of raised comb to foundation in both brood boxes and honey supers? We too run nine frames in honey supers. Uh, then he goes on saying, it's awesome seeing a fellow Manitoban posting great videos and learning how to winter hives. We rent our space indoors, so they hope their bees make it. Thanks for your time. Okay, Mike. Uh, that's a good question. That's a question I get a lot, and it's a very important question too, especially when I was, uh, well, I still do. I, I draw out a lot of foundation every year. Uh, I like to keep the bees busy. That's a very important factor, I figure, as giving the bees some uh, foundation to work on every year just to make sure that they're always busy so they always have a place to put their wax, okay? Just one more of those steps which you layer to help uh, control those big hives from swarming off on you. Just giving a place to put their work. Um, my brood boxes, if I'm going to put foundation down in my brood boxes because if I'm rotating comb out or if I'm putting foundation to fill in space for my nukes, I always put the foundation on the outside of the nest. Um, I never ever put foundation in into a brood nest, like in between brood frames. I just feel it's very important to keep the integrity of that brood nest intact at all times, okay? Because uh, they can better maintain that cluster if what they're doing is all together. And then foundation, think of foundation as being an act of surplus, okay? As the bees expand and they have energy coming in, they will use that energy on the outside of that nest. Okay, that's, so that's where I put my foundation. If I'm going to put foundation on my hives in the brood nest, I put it on the outside of the nest, always. Um, but for honey supers, uh, when you're building out comb, everybody knows it takes a lot of energy to draw out wax foundation. Um, and... We like to use our equipment as efficiently as possible. So I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I space my foundations in within the comb, but I keep my boxes in a nine frame configuration. Okay. Uh, you got to keep that foundation tight. So everybody's saying, okay, you got to go 10, but that just leaves the rest of your combs too tight. And then they don't draw the wax out as far and it's harder to extract. So I'll show you how I, set my foundation into my honey supers which will keep those big fat honeycombs but it'll also maintain the proper space to draw out that foundation wax. Okay so here's your nine frame box with uh, drawn foundation so if I want to draw one frame of foundation out all I do is I simply pull out a comb and what we do is we put a foundation right in the center and you got to keep it tight right so you keep the tight, you keep the bee space around the foundation tight, and then you have space out the rest of the comb accordingly. So one foundation is, foundation is in here. If you want to draw two foundations out, pull another comb out like that, and and just make sure your your frame spacing is accordingly. Okay, so keep your frames tight. And then everything else spaced out nice and symmetrically. If you want to do three foundations, you just you just keep doing the same process. So you got to keep all your frames tight around those three frames, and then you keep these ones loose on the outside just so they draw the wax out proper. Drawing three frames of foundation out is a lot more work. Um, typically, all I do is I draw one uh, frame of foundation out in the center, and the bees walk through that. Uh, in no time at all. So you just space out your your box like such and there you go. A neat little trick if you want to space your comb out here on the bee yards, you're th taking boxes off the truck, you want to space these out symmetrically, what you do is you, you just shake the box like that and what it does is it kind of shakes all the frames uh, evenly spaced and then we just pull these together in the center like that. So they'll draw one foundation out pretty quick. The more foundations you add, the more work you're giving them and the harder it is for you get to get that wax drawn out. But it allows you to build boxes pretty quick and it allows you to build out the frame out with proper uh, B space, allowing for proper comb space around the outside so they can draw these ones out nice and fat. And it keeps you with a nine frame configuration so then you can make boxes up a lot quicker.
So the more foundation you draw out in your box, the longer it's going to take to fill out that box, to fill out the foundation in there. Um, it takes a lot of energy. It's going to take away from your honey harvest. Um, but it's an investment. You can't bring honey in unless you bring it in in honeycomb. So um, I started for, with a few boxes. I've built up to many thousands of boxes now the same way. You just keep putting frames of foundation every year. Uh, try not to give them too much work to do because you got to make honey at the end of the day too. Um, so, so space one, if I'm short, I'll, I'll throw two frames of foundation in a honey box and, uh, and they'll, they'll work it out and, and you'll build equipment and uh, you'll be able to use it for next year.